Welcome to Cheese in Depth. I'm Michael Landis and today we're going to have a cheesy creamy brie fondue. We're going to be using Alouette Creamy Brie, Alouette, and also Supreme to make our delicious creamy brie fondue. Alright, so what we've done already is we've already taken our pieces, we've scooped out cream brie, and then we've de uh, rind the Supreme and then cubed them up, added in some uh, uh, nice little cornstarch in here. So we did the cornstarch. To that, what that does is helps bind it because if you just added the heat on here, we would get uh, it would just go to uh, uh, separate the, the butter fat and you would get separated butter and cheese. So it doesn't really work very well without having that. Now if you don't have cornstarch, flour works just as well. Alright, so this recipe is going to be a little bit more complicated than most fondues, but we're going to be able to pair this up with uh, steak, shrimp, apples, and also some sourdough bread. So this is just a fabulous, this is going to be a whole dinner once we get going here. Alright, let's get going here. Alright, the first thing that we need to do is I like to have a little bit of base garlic in here. And I know that the, sometimes the recipe doesn't call for uh, garlic and everything, but I'm a garlic kind of guy. And I don't want a lot, I just want a little bit. And, I, and, I, and having it in the pan uh, gives just a little hint there. That's all I wanted to add in. Alright, now we're going to start off with two pads two uh, ounces uh, or tablespoons of butter. All right, this is Vermont Creamery. This is cultured butter. So you can see that it's already, it's already just like melting in my hand. It's so fabulous. And uh, so out there, the one beautiful thing about it is I, I know this is sounds simple, but you know, it has the mark on it. So it tells you where you're, uh, how much, you're using on there and uh, I think that's very helpful made it really easy alright let's get going so let's uh, heat them up here now we're gonna be whisking everything in so the first... alright so now we're add our large, one large shallot we're gonna cook this minced we're going to cook this until it tr gets uh, translucent. So it should only be about a minute or so. There we go. Alright, I'm going to add in a little couple sprigs of rosemary. Now you can use thyme as well. I really like rosemary. I think that's a mm, beautiful smell. Alright, now looks like we got it pretty much go in here they're all nice and crystallized now we're going to add in our beer all right so just about 12 ounces of beer now one thing about this is that the beer uh, needs to simmer so now uh, I've used lagers for this but also what I like about this is this is a nice wheat beer. So having that just like light flavor to it is absolutely fabulous. We're going to want to get this up to simmering. You know, there's a little bit of maltiness in the beer, just a hint, but you can smell that malt. That's uh, kind of a, like a sweet flavor. It's going to add into the flavors of the, the fondue. Yeah. So now we're going to start adding in our cheese. And 
and this is going to be whisk in. So. See that it just just dissolves right in. Amazing. Great. And you know we're gonna be pairing this up with steak and shrimp and apples. And of course, crunchy sourdough bread creamy and I'm going to transfer this over to my fondue pot and we'll keep it nice and warm and so that's it that's our fondue brie alouette supreme super creamy super supreme version all right enjoy